banks are perfectly uh, able to serve crypto customers as long as they understand and can manage the risks. I became a fan of crypto, and to me it's an industry. I view it as an industry, and I'm president. And if we didn't have it, China would, or somebody else would, but most likely China. China would love to. And we've dominated that industry. It's a big industry, by the way. In fact, when the stock market went down recently, crypto and Bitcoin and all of that went down much less than anybody else. The craziest thing is BitTensor is the decentralized AI tech stack with Bitcoin's tokenomics, Ethereum style ecosystem expansion, and a competitive intelligence economy that improves as demand increases. You are too late, engineer. Your network is mine. Every node bends to me. We'll see how well you handle one that fights back. Futile. Let's test that theory. Positioning Tau as the premier scarce asset in the entire artificial intelligence era. What if I told you the most powerful AI network in the world isn't owned by a corporation? It isn't run by a boardroom, and it's about to hit its first halving. Just like Bitcoin, in 2012. I feel like a mad scientist right now. I was just thinking that something ground breaking, world changing, something we've never seen before could possibly come out of BitTensor's ecosystem. This is BitTensor, the decentralized intelligence engine Wall Street is sleeping on. So my excitement comes from the BitTensor Tau halving happening in the next two to five days. And I think it's going to bring a lot of attention to BitTensor. What I did was I created a mock version of BlackRock Quant Tools. Be sure to check out the Patreon if you want that report. Man, did BitTensor report blow my mind. If you do not know what BitTensor is, and if you're new to my channel, follow my channel for BitTensor Tau videos, right? I tried to explain it in a way where everybody can understand. So how can I explain Tau in a way that everybody can understand this? Picture the world being an entire brain. Every computer within this brain is a node, is a neuron, is it incentivizes intelligence and usefulness. It, it has, it, it's not even about AI anymore. You can literally just have an idea and go for it in the BitTensor ecosystem. Just like any other business, you gotta invest in your business to start it up. But the thing about BitTensor is once you buy that subnet slot, depending on the quality of your intelligence, your usefulness will determine the emissions, AKA liquidity, AKA capital that you earn to further scale and expand your marketplace, your service, your product, your intelligence, your usefulness. Kind of like what I'm doing right now, creating this video utilizing BitCast, I'm providing usefulness for the BitTensor ecosystem through education. Education on everything Tau. The reason I truly believe some something like BlackRock or these banks will be interested, because you got to think about what's happening. You just seen Trump and Powell say banks can help with self-custody. Tau has the whole Mev Shield thing, which is going to save people billions. I don't know if you ever bought meme coins and got literally sandwiched by a Mev bot, but that's no longer a thing on BitTensor, which will attract more institutional interest. We're already seeing that from grayscale but the clarity act is going to unlock a whole new avenue and gateway to liquidity to pour into utility tokens like tau and BitTensor is the number one decentralized intelligence play in the world most ai is bottlenecked by centralized entity you gotta have a degree you gotta have loans good credit to start up any type of ai business or work for open AI. With BitTensor, everybody has a fair chance. If every computer in the world was contributing to AI, do you know the quality of AI we would get? They wanna keep all of the AI and the data to themselves where they can control, manipulate, move the markets where they wanna move. How changes that? It gives everybody an opportunity to truly be a part of the AI economy. And the thing about BitTensor is it doesn't have VCs, no unlocks, no weird tokenomics. It's hard capped at 21 million and we even 
can have a halving coming similar to Bitcoin. Go look at when Grayscale first bought Bitcoin. Tau has the exact same tokenomics. The difference is as the demand of AI grows, in my opinion, I believe BitTensor will as well. I don't know if you guys did any research on something called Metcalf Law. As long as we continue to grow as an ecosystem, whether that be miners, validators, alpha holders, people that's actually utilizing these AI services, products, prediction markets, the evaluation for BitTensor will only continue to increase. And when you add Bitcoin's tokenomics, well, then you got something that's absolutely insane and it literally has no marketing budget which brings me to bitcast subnet 93 has found a way to monetize education incentivize youtubers for spreading the good word the good bit tensor word the good tau word here's the reason why that can help out bit Answer. Every YouTuber like myself is a miner. We compete against other YouTubers for rewards. The higher the quality of your video, meaning the better you can communicate with your community, provide high quality visuals, and just make something people can understand, the higher your rewards are in alpha. This allows BitTensor to kind of like get free marketing, but not just any type of marketing, high quality marketing the cool thing about bitcash 90 percent of the revenue that they generate goes back to buybacks these are the tokenomics you want to see from a subnet because of the new implementation of tau flow the more whales the more retail the more clients that buy your ai services or products the more inflows of your subnet the more emissions you see how that works if 90 percent of that revenue that's being generated is going back to buybacks that's tau flow it's one of the reasons dsv fund has been investing full clips of fifty thousand into bitcat this is why i'm so bullish on bitcat when i compare it to other subnets it's one of the subnets that has the best revenue generation model and i truly believe it's sustainable because the attention economy is only going to continue to grow what do you think is going to happen when BitTensor and even bitcast start to expand outside of the BitTensor ecosystem this is just one subnet there's 127 other startups that's providing high quality ai services high quality usefulness and high quality intelligence now of course not all of the subnets are going to be successful. You only need a few. Just look at what Chutes is doing. Chutes is already bringing in millions of dollars in revenue. This is something that people use in real world and don't even know it's crypto. And guess where it sits? Within the BitTensor ecosystem. I think that this is perfect timing. BitCast is going to increase that marketing right around the halving, right around the time that we're going to get exposure. And even though the market is a little frothy right now, 2026 could be the year of liquidity. Pull my fucking bags, Dita. Woo! Woo! It's a motivational weekend, Saturday. Health over wealth. Pull my fucking bag, Dita has Bitcoin's tokenomics. Well, now you got Bitcoin on steroids. You got Bitcoin with a AI, AKA intelligence, use case and utility. Sky is the limit. Let me know what you think about BitTensor and Tau if you really want me to keep doing these videos. Hopefully I covered everything and I put it in a way everybody can understand. It's your boy Crypto Millie and I'll see you in the next one. BitCast, Tau Subnet 93 on BitTensor. Brands close to breathe. Creators drop real videos, AI proves real views, crypto paid out daily, no agencies, no fake engagement, the entire creator economy is now fully on chain. Brand drops a bounty on BitCast, hours later, flood of authentic videos hit YouTube Annex, AI scans every second, proves only real humans will watch, creators get paid in town, same day, agency, who needs them? Weeks of emails and massive fees, no need. Bitcast, one click, instant results, almost zero cost. Old marketing is dead. This is the new standard. Data is the new oil.